十六代目のクラウン日本の歴史に重ね合わせればそれは明治維新ですご覧ください新しい時代の幕開けです If tomorrow you see someone filling up their car with water instead of gasoline or diesel you would probably call 911 But for the first time, Toyota, a pioneer in automotive innovation, developed a new technology that might revolutionize the whole electric vehicle industry. Toyota's water engine. Is the new dawn of water powered cars finally here? Akio Toyota, the grandson of Toyota founder Kichiro Toyota, has faced criticism in recent years for failing to recognize the world's move to electric vehicles, despite investing billions of dollars in technologies such as hydrogen power. Chairman Akio Toyota confirmed his intentions for a major engine development project in a speech in front of 200 business managers and executives in 2023. Keeping with his declaration at the 2024 Tokyo Auto Salon, When he told everyone that we're going to keep doing engines, this was also a part of his dream of a hydrogen filled engine. To the EV supporters in the QA session, Toyota told the questioning reporters that battery EVs would never reach a 30% market share, regardless of technology breakthroughs. As a consequence, gasoline automobiles, hybrids, and fuel cell electric vehicles. Will account for the remaining 70%. The company's chairman also implied that hydrogen burning combustion engines may perhaps offer a solution. He also touched upon the difficult issue of job security. If we suddenly switch to electric vehicles, I'm sure that the 5.5 million people in Japan's automotive industry who spent their entire lives working on such engines. Will wonder, what was it all for? Some of our engine suppliers are unable to secure financing even from banks. Toyota Industries was a machine maker started by Sakichi Toyota, Kichiro's father. In 1937, Kichiro started the automobile manufacturer Toyota Motor Corporation. Together, they spearheaded an industrial revolution that altered the course of history in the 1970s. After 50 years, The automobile giant has become complacent, taking its market supremacy for granted and generating a feeling of security. You can't talk about car manufacturing without including Toyota and the 100 year Toyota dynasty. Toyota's experiments with water powered engines mark a significant advancement in vehicle technology. Unlike any traditional engines or EVs, Toyota's engine is based on water power. The engine uses a technology similar to the HHO generator, but is specifically intended for vehicle use. Ushering in a new era of automotive innovation. This engine is revolutionary in its fuel usage strategy. Water is separated into its essential elements, hydrogen and oxygen, via electrolysis. This process, which begins with high voltage electrodes within the water tank, liberates hydrogen for fuel. Most importantly, this technology avoids the need for large, complex storage systems, giving it a substantial advantage over traditional fuel cell electric cars. Or FCEVs and hydrogen internal combustion engines. Toyota had earlier revealed the Corolla Cross H2 concept as part of its Beyond Zero campaign. This new prototype automobile has a hydrogen combustion engine. The Japanese automaker has teamed with Yamaha Motors to develop a hydrogen powered V8 engine with 455 horsepower and 398 pound feet of torque. But this car used hydrogen refueling instead of water. Why do we need a water fueled car? One of the most appealing features of Toyota's water engine is its environmental impact. The engine The engine emits nearly no pollutants, outperforming both traditional and electric vehicles in terms of environmental friendliness. Toyota's engine is a green dream churning out nothing but H2O. It's not just eco friendly, it boasts a bigger range, better refueling, and easier demand for rare material fuel. Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine is against the EV pack, and it zooms ahead with perks like marathon range and pit stop quick refueling. Water engines provide a sustainable alternative by removing the need for oil extraction and rare metal mining, which are both connected to existing vehicle production processes. Additionally, the ease of storage and little environmental effect reinforce its status as a great technology. This technology's safety features reduce the hazards of storing highly flammable fuels, resulting in a safer driving experience. With the mechanical design being simpler than most V8 or V6 engines, this technology will be easy to manufacture and maintain, which increases its economic feasibility. Water engines are a feasible, sustainable option in areas with limited oil availability or insufficient electric car infrastructure. This technology can help democratize access to environmentally friendly transportation, spurring economic growth. And assisting worldwide efforts to promote sustainable living. Is it really practical to run a car with just water? 
Previous attempts at water-powered engines have always been troubled by dependability issues and struggled with daily usage. Even with the safety hazards of hydrogen's volatility, there are substantial barriers to widespread deployment. Research and development can handle these difficulties, paving the way for a cleaner and a more economic daily vehicle. Building a completely new hydrogen infrastructure remains a difficult task, with hydrogen fueling stations trailing well behind their gasoline and electric car counterparts. Against these hurdles, Toyota's revolutionary technology shines as a ray of hope. The key features of this breakthrough include strategically placed water injection valves, dual injection timing, and evaporation control, which represent a significant step forward in tackling the inherent heat concerns of hydrogen combustion. This approach permits high-performance hydrogen engines by dynamically regulating engine temperature via precise water injection. Let's get into the mechanics of the water engine. Each cylinder has two valves strategically located at its intake ports. These valves control the time and volume of water injected carefully, resulting in excellent cylinder cooling. Water is injected as the intake valve opens or shuts, allowing it to be as effective as possible under the engine's operating circumstances. This adaptability enables accurate temperature regulation in a variety of driving conditions. Toyota's new patent application for a water-cooled hydrogen combustion engine represents a significant step forward in the company's investigation of alternative powertrains beyond full electrification. This breakthrough overcomes the issue of greater operating temperatures in hydrogen engines than in standard gasoline engines, perhaps paving the way for high-performance hydrogen cars. The patent describes a mechanism for injecting tiny water droplets that quickly evaporate within the cylinder. This reduces their influence on combustion and lubrication, hence improving engine efficiency. The engine's electronic control unit, or the ECU, serves as the brain of the operation. It dynamically monitors operational factors such as temperature and regulates water injection accordingly to provide accurate and effective cooling. When combined, these features form a dynamic and adaptable system for handling the higher temperatures of hydrogen combustion engines. This opens the door to constructing powerful and efficient hydrogen vehicles that might rival the performance of typical gasoline-powered automobiles. Toyota has even incorporated hydrogen technology into its racing vehicles. After all, it's difficult to get the press excited about the latest developments in practical family transportation. However, Toyota's hydrogen racing vehicles have had mixed outcomes. One of them caught fire, and one was well welcomed. One of Toyota's biggest hydrogen PR victories occurred in July 2023, when actor-slash-comedian-slash-car collector Rowan Atkinson drove a hydrogen-converted Yaris at the Goodwood Festival of Speed with a lot of cameras pointing at him. Instead of fuel cells, this one-of-a-kind car is powered by a hydrogen combustion engine. What does this mean for the automotive world? Toyota has a reputation for producing durable but boring automobiles. On the other hand, it has a long history of quietly integrating cutting-edge technology into otherwise regular automobiles. Toyota is one of the only firms in the world that consistently introduces new technologies. Other automakers have put their brilliant new powertrains into two-door sports cars, but Toyota has put its greatest innovations into vehicles that intrigue people. This is the same company that introduced the world to hybrids with a dull-looking hatchback rather than a gorgeous coupe. Instead of recruiting enthusiasts in the automotive press, Toyota chooses to ignore manual coupe purists in favor of those who don't know the difference between a turbocharger and a supercharger. Toyota's water engine has the potential to open a new chapter in automotive history, but that doesn't mean we can use it right away. The path to general adoption of the technology will be difficult, but the transformational potential of water-powered engines should not be underestimated. People are generally not fond of unfamiliar vehicles due to their fear of technical difficulties. Toyotas, on the other hand, are well known for their longevity. Getting a Ford Focus to 200,000 miles is impressive, but getting a Toyota Tacoma to 400,000 is pretty normal. Toyota's hydrogen crusade may appear to be a never-ending drain on the company's money or a foolish search with no payoff. Even if that is the case, Toyota is profitable enough to withstand the loss. As Toyota overcomes these challenges, the worldwide automotive community excitedly anticipates the realization of a greener, more sustainable future. If you liked this video, make sure to check out our other videos. Feel free to subscribe for more intriguing content. Please let us know if you found the video useful, and we'll see you in the next one.